Good evening and welcome to Smedley's Book at Bedtime. This evening's story is an old classic. See? It's an old classic. It's called Mold Socks and the Three Squares. One of my old time favourites, uh, don't you know? <laughs> now we start with the main character, Moldy Socks, or commonly known as Smelly Pants. Now he's a very rum character, one of those free men on the land types, you know, the sovereign types, except nothing from the shade, except his gyro. <laughs> Now, his main goal is to wander around Britain looking for young, impressionable police officers where he can baffle them with his knowledge of 15th century law. <laughs> what a cock. Now, our next characters are the three squares. These are the Farquhar family, a well-to-do family who live in the mansion house in the heart of Berkshire, in the countryside, you know. They sound like my kind of people, actually. These consist of Pater Square, Mater Square and soon to be gentleman Farmer Square. Now the story begins with mouldy socks peering through a hedgerow and looking at the front door of the Farquhar family mansion house. Probably up to no, no good, little scoundrel. While inside the house, Mater is busy in the kitchen scolding the cook and scullery maids. Come along, cook, we need our morning sustenance. After all, we're more important than you lower classes. Mater moves slowly to the dining room area, where Peter sat patiently at the dining table. Morning, dear, he exclaimed. And where is Junior this fine morning? Oh, he's making his bed again, Peter. Or shall I say, covering up the wet patches. Oh, is she still having those nightmares, dear, is he? I'm afraid so, dear. On times I do wish we hadn't taken him to collect his gym or fix it badge. A nonsense, my dear. He'll have to come to terms with it. After all, I've enrolled him for Oxbridge. <laughs> of course, dear, I shall. I think I'll get out my collection of Judy Garland uh, play recordings. Maybe that should help. Uh, morning, Major. Morning, Peter, uh, shouted the young junior. <coughs> Sorry I'm late again. Uh, the top came off my water bottle. Oh yes, yes, Julia. Take a seat. Uh, get ready for breakfast. Oh, no, no. This won't do. It's far too hot. You shouted, Peter. Salmon and truffles should be at room temperature. This won't do. We shall have to wait an age now for it to cool down. I know, Peter. Why don't we take a walk around the grounds? That's a splendid idea, young Farquhar. That's what we shall do. Oh, yes, please, Peter. We might even catch sight of that doe idea I saw in the spring. Oh, yes, we might, Peter said, with a glazed look in his eyes. In that case, go fetch my double-board shotgun from over the fireplace, young Farquhar. Who knows? I might be able to buy a goose. A major, oh, yes, Peter, <laughs> replied Major. I haven't had a goose in such an age. <laughs> in Rendell. <laughs> now, now, Major, not in front of Junior. <clears throat> so off Junior scuttled to fetch the shotgun from the fireplace. Now, Major, let's find our stout walking boots and ready ourselves for our splendid walk on the grounds. Uh, here you are, Peter, your shotgun. <laughs> oh, what a clever little farker you are, young Junior. And with that, they made way for the front door. And they left. The Farquhars have gone. Now, if you want to know the rest of the story, please tune in to the next episode, coming to you soon, by Schmedley's Book Adventure. Charlie Hale.